But at the end of the day, I think, you know, what all matters is this game coming up right now. That's the, that's the biggest thing. They're they on a the high right now. They, they got themselves in a race going into the playoffs and trying to get themselves in the hunt. And we're trying to keep ourselves in, in the head of the hunt. So the biggest thing right now is just, you know, taking care of business, get them out, take, taking them out the picture, and get ready for what's coming up next. And that's, that's um, Houston in the next couple of weeks. Maybe it's hard not to look ahead to the season. Always hard. It's super hard, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, we got to make sure we take care of this this person in front of us, um, because you look ahead at the end of the day, you know, we lose this game. Now what's ahead doesn't even matter. So we want to make sure we take care of this game right now, keep ourselves in a good good position, and going into the next couple games and out the season well. Coach mentioned how good they are in third down, mainly because you know they can run the ball so well with Jacobs. I know it's a priority every week, but just stopping the run, making their second and third downs longer, I imagine, would be. Oh, that's definitely number one key. Uh, we talked about it earlier. You know, we played a hell of a game in the last couple games um, against the Colts and them, uh, stopping the run. So this week's going to definitely be huge. We got some bigger guys across from us, um, but our job up front is make sure we outwork them, outlast them, and make sure we keep ourselves um, not letting lanes open up where this running back is great at is finding open lanes. And he get down hill fast and he's a hard runner making guy miss his yards after contact is unbelievable the biggest thing we're going to be us is making sure we gain tackle you know get off the of blocks get hit him second guy come in wrap him up get him down um, don't let this guy keep on powering down the field I know team goals are always more important than individual goals but you're one sack away from 50 Oh, always, uh, always. Uh, thought about it at the beginning of the season. Thought I would have probably been hit the mark already. Um, definitely not the way I, I love the season to go off for myself personally. But at the end of the day, you know, they keep on piling on. As long as I'm here, I'm going to get to that record. That's the biggest thing. Um, right now, we're just trying to make sure we win these games. What does it mean for an interior defensive line to get to a number like that? It means a ton, man. It's so hard to get them from inside. It's, it's hard to get them from the outside. And, Knowing how, how many sacks I've missed over the career, just to still be sitting at that 49 mark is unbelievable. Um, just shows how much work and dedication I've put into this game, and how much more I'm continuing to um, leave out there when it's my time to walk away from the game. My mark should be left. How much do you continue to work with Simmons and, and kind of mentor him here as the season gets along? I mean, he's still kind of getting in in the groove of things. Um, the biggest thing is just keeping them more so mentally focused on everything. You know, keeping them um, healthy is the biggest thing. Let them know that you play a hell of a ball, but learn how to manage your days. Learn how to, you know, because every day he's going 110. So it's something that, you know, with a young guy, you, it's hard to tell them to slow down because at the end of the day, they are young and they got to go. But, you know, when you're hurt, injured, playing as well as you are right now, thank the Lord, you know, you want to kind of manage that as much as possible. So that's the biggest thing right now, just getting the young guys to understand how to manage your body for a marathon and not for a sprint. Yeah, first back, first sack we get a big bend, um, actually. Um, up in Pittsburgh against the Steelers, uh, it was actually an amazing sack. I thought I was going to miss him. I hit him so hard, I thought I was going to dislocate my shoulder. That guy is big as hell. Uh, <laughs> but with the second effort, I ended up getting him down. It definitely, definitely was an exciting experience. And Terrell, last week's win really, really kind of ignited Titans Nation. You know, the city's really excited about what you guys can do. For you guys, how much fun is this to be playing meaningful December football games? Because there are a lot of teams in this league right now that are. It's unbelievable, especially after the past couple of seasons we didn't had uh, not really having meaningful games in December. This is, this is everything. This is what you ask for, being a pro. Um, the game is about playing December ball, playing Thanksgiving ball. You know, everybody in high school always look forward to that Thanksgiving ball. You know, if you're still playing around Thanksgiving, you're in the playoff. Now it's about December ball. So, you know, all the big men show up at this time of the game, and this is where your star players got to show up. And we got to make sure we have those guys show up this this um, next couple of weeks and put ourselves in a good running. How much are you looking forward to going out to Oakland and out with all the craziness that goes on out there with the crowd? And all oh, man, the always excited. Stuff. Always excited to go out there, man. That, that fan, the stadium itself, the, the history that comes with the Raiders, is always exciting. My whole family is all Raiders fans, so it's going to be definitely exciting for me to go out there and put a smack on them and have some, some clout to go back and talk mess. So it's definitely going to be big for me.